In this video, I'd like to show you two important calculations you'll carry out in a chemistry class. Mole to mass conversions, or mole to gram, and mass to mole, or gram to mole conversions. So the first type, when converting moles to mass, to determine the mass, or the grams, multiply the given moles by the molecular weight, or sometimes called the molar mass. In the other calculation, converting mass to moles, to determine the moles, divide the given mass in grams by the molecular weight. What is the weight in grams of one mole of iron? In order to determine the grams in one mole of iron, you need to know the molar mass or the molecular weight. And in the previous video, I showed you that you could use the periodic table to determine the molar mass. And in the periodic table, you could estimate the molar mass of iron to be 56 grams. Well, remember, molar mass means so many grams per one mole. So if the molar mass of iron is 56 grams per mole, well, the answer to this question is 56 grams. Now, as simple as that was, it's important to show you the calculation behind it. Multiply the given moles by the molar mass. So one mole times the fraction 56 grams per, of iron per one mole of iron. And I set this up in the format of dimensional analysis so you could see the cancellation of the units. So how many grams are two moles of iron? Well, if one mole was 56, two moles would be 112. And the calculation is two moles of Fe times the fraction 56 grams of iron per one mole of iron. What is the weight in grams of 0.1 moles of iron? Well, 0.1 is a tenth. So if one mole was 56, a tenth of 56 was 5.6. And the calculation is laid out as 0.1 times the molar mass. How many grams are 1.84 moles of iron? Well, you would expect an answer greater than 56 grams because one mole is equivalent to 56 grams of iron. What is the weight in grams of 0.145 moles of iron? Well, in this we would expect an answer less than 56. What is the weight of 0.25 moles of hydrogen peroxide? The molar mass of hydrogen peroxide is 34. So we would expect an answer less than 34 grams because we are told that we have 0.25 or a quarter of a mole. So now I'll turn the attention to mass to mole calculations. This is where you would divide the given grams by the molar mass. So in 23 grams of sodium, there is one mole of sodium, because the molar mass of sodium is 23 grams per mole. Now looking at the math setup, you see here we're reciprocating the molar mass, or dividing the given grams, 23, by the molar mass value. Given 46 grams of sodium, calculate the number of moles of sodium. It would be two moles, because you have twice the amount of weight uh, than there is in one mole of sodium. And the math is 46 divided by 23. How many moles of sodium are there in a sample which weighs 230 grams? Well, this is 10 times the molar mass of sodium. So there's 10 moles. Uh, the setup, 
230 grams divided by 23. And in the case of 2.3 grams of sodium, there would be 0.1 moles of sodium. How many moles of sodium are in a sample which weighs 345 grams? And how many moles are in a sample that weighs 0.762? And finally, given 375 grams of iron chloride, calculate the number of moles.